The summer before I was diagnosed with breast cancer, I ran a six-day ultra trail race in the Colorado Rocky Mountains. And running is my ultimate freedom. I was first shocked because I was very healthy and fit. And then my mind went to my daughter and I thought, how will she grow up without me? When we first met Allie, um, she was seen by the surgical oncologist, the medical oncologist, and myself, the radiation oncologist. And we decided at that point that um, her breast cancer warranted treatment from all three of us. I think in general, when patients are diagnosed with breast cancer, they're so confused, they're scared, they're angry. And the last thing they really want to think about is trying to coordinate their surgical schedule, calling the medical oncologist whose practice is on the other side of town, oh, and then remember to coordinate the plastic surgeon as well. And I think that's something that we here uh, do a great job in managing for patients. I did five months of chemotherapy. I had a mastectomy and then six weeks of radiation. I really like to get to know my patients. I like to understand their situation and see how I can support them through the journey of treating their cancer. One of the biggest things that I um, am so proud about is um, how we work as a team. Great, great job. I just feel it when I walk into the building every day and I'm walking down the halls and I just feel a special energy there coming from everybody. It's a very, um, very well-coordinated dance, if you will. We have amazing research, uh, amazing trials that come out of the Fred Hutch. There we go. Yeah, that's good. I think I had a misconception that clinical trials were for people who were on their third or fourth treatment option, but they're not. I had the opportunity presented to me to participate in a clinical trial. And so I took advantage of that. Not only because it made me feel like I was using all of the tools in the shed to help myself, but I felt like I was giving back to a community that I was thrown into. And if I could help one person that may go through this in the future, it gave my cancer a purpose. <laughs>